Welcome to the Care Fusion Pixis MedStation tutorial, brought to you by Com Pima Community College. I am your host, Carl Banger. This is a picture of the Pixis station in room D110. It's in one of our sim rooms. All of our Pixis machines in all of our skills rooms and simulation rooms all look like this. This is the top view of our Pixis station. As you can see, a keyboard with screen. And to the right, you'll see a username and password below the scanner. When you first walk up to the Pixis station, you will see this screen. If you tap on the screen, it will bring up the area to log in. Again, the Username and password is to the right of the screen. Type in the user ID, student1, and the password, student, and hit enter. Next, you will come to this screen. For your portion of skills and for simulation, you will hit the remove button with your finger. The next screen will show the patients that are loaded into the Pixis machines. If you do not see your patient, you may start to type in their last name. As you can see, the S's come up when I put in S-H-A. For the example of doing this tutorial, I will be using Lloyd Bennett, as you see here on the screen. So I will, top, I will tap on Lloyd Bennett, and these are orders that have already been inputted by the ordering provider. As you can see, morphine sulfate is ordered. If you tap on the morphine sulfate with your finger, it will highlight. And then at the bottom left-hand corner, you can hit Remove Selections. When you hit the Remove Selections, the drawer will open up that is needed for the medication be dispensed. In the next few slides, I will show you the different types of drawers that we have on our Pixis station. This is the top drawer of our Pixis stations. As you can see, it just has pockets that are available for medications to be loaded in. On the screen, it will tell you what pocket to take your medication out of. Make sure you take the medication out of the correct pocket. In our next drawer, we have little cubbies. The cubbies have lids that are spring-loaded that will open up for the proper medication dispense. When you are done, close the lid of the cubby and shut the drawer. Next, we have little caddies. This will open up just slightly, and you'll need to pull it all the way open. Again, these are open medication dispensary, so make sure you read the screen to know which caddy to pull from. As you can see, they are labeled. Again, we have open cubbies. Again, make sure you look at the screen to tell you what cubby to pull your medication from. And then we have the carousel. The carousel will turn and only give you the area that, you, that we are dispensing the medication from. With morphine being a controlled substance, it is asking you to verify the count of the vials that are loaded in the Pixis. As you can see, this is saying, is there two in the drawer? You will count them, and if it's yes, you hit yes. If no, you hit no, and then you will have to verify the correct count. After you've verified the correct count, it will say to remove how many different vials or tabs 
from the particular dispensing drawer. This one says to remove one vial. I like to hold the vial up to the top of the screen where it lists what medication that I am taking to compare it to make sure it is correct. When I am done getting the medications that I need out of the PIXA station, please don't forget to hit exit so nobody behind you can use your login to get any other medications. Next to the PIXA station is a blue cart that the top drawer will have needles and syringes for you to use during your simulation or skill station. Also, there is a drug book for your use, some scratch paper, flushes, and a calculator if you need to calculate out drug dosages. If you have any questions about this tutorial or need further information about using the CareFusion Pixis Med Station, please contact myself, Carl Binger, or Jolene Marcelli, who is also in simulation and skills. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you got some information from it. Have a good day.